Gaius Julius Caesar de Bello Gallico, episode 13. His rebus adducti et auctoritate orgatoricus permoti constituerent ea quae ad proficescendum pertinerent comparare, humentorum et cardrordrum quam maximum numerum coemere, sementes quam maximas facere, ut in itinera copia frumenti superet cum proximis civitatibus pacem et amicitiam confirmare. Caesar continues his explanation of the conspiracy of Orgetorix. Adducti is masculine, plural, and nominative because it is the subject of constitue runt. It is a participle from the verb adduco, which is a third conjugation verb, adduco adducere. It means to lead toward something. Here it is in the passive, so we would take it as something like induced or persuaded, his rebus, by these considerations, and permoti, stirred up or roused. This is also a participle in the masculine plural nominative. It's from the second conjugation verb per moeo, per moe re, which means to be aroused, persuaded, etc. It's a synonym of adducti. So led along by these considerations and moved by the auctoritate of orgetorix, auctoritate, feminine, singular, and ablative, as an ablative of instrument, and orgetorigus, orgetorigus, excuse me, is masculine, singular, and genitive because it is his auctoritas that is in question. This noun, auctoritate, is a third declension noun, the nominative of which is auctoritas, and it's feminine, as I've said. It is related to the verb augeo, augere, which means to increase or to make large. English words like augment are from it. The English word authority is not a very good translation of auctoritate because it means broad influence, both of a personal and a political kind. So, led along by these considerations, and moved by the authority of Orgetorix, they decided, constituerunt, to prepare comparare. Or, to take it in Latin word order, they decided, those things, quae per tenerent, those things which, related to setting out, to making a migration, they decided to acquire those things. So the object of the infinitive comparare is ea, which is neuter, plural, and accusative. And it is modified by this relative clause, which begins with quae and ends with pertinerent. Now the question is raised, why is pertinerent subjunctive in this relative clause? It is because this is called a relative clause of characteristic. It means the author does not have in mind particular things, but the kinds of things, pertinerent, which relate to setting out. And now come some particular things, both of pack animals, eumentordrum, and of vehicles for travel, as great a number as possible, quam maximum numerum, to purchase, coemere. So we see that this verb constituerunt patterns with two infinitives. The first infinitive is comparare, and the second is coemere. They decided to acquire ea, quae through patinerent, and they decided to purchase coemere, quam maximum numerum, the largest number possible, eumentordrum et cardrordrum, of pack animals and of vehicles. There is a third infinitive, facere, in addition to coemere and comparare, that depend on constituerunt, and facere means to make, so they decided to plant crops, sementes facere, as large a number as possible. So they made as many, as many plantings as they could. They maxed out all the space for tillage. And they did this, ut, in order that, on the journey, in itinera, the copia frumenti, the supply of grain, of foodstuffs, would last, supeteret, it would be present. Copia is feminine, singular, and nominative, as the subject of supeteret, and frumenti is neuter, singular, genitive as an objective genitive, so a supply of foodstuffs, supeteret. Supeteret is subjunctive because it is part of an ut clause, this purpose clause which ut introduces. And now the fourth infinitive, confirmare, to add to facere, coemere, and comparare. They also decided, with their closest neighbors, cum proximis civitatibus, with the nearest states, they decided to establish confirmare, to shore up make strong their friendship, this means political alliance, and their cooperation, pacem et amicitiam.
And what we have here is a replica, a reproduction of a Gallic wagon of the kind they would have used to carry their belongings in their migration.